I want to bring a chart, a native pixel perfect chart in, I'll just go to the toolbox and I'll drag and drop into this corner. And you'll notice that when I do that, it launches the chart wizard. Uh, but for now, let's just exit out of this for the time being. And first, let's set the size of the chart. And we'll go down here to size. And we want to set the height in this case to 860. And the width will be 800. If we want to reopen that chart wizard and go through that process, we can click on the smart tag up top and run wizard is an option for us. So we are going to create a visualization. We want to find the donut chart type. There is a next button that you can go through. So appearance would be the next one uh, that we are working with here. So inside appearance, one of the things that we want to do is create a new color palette. There are a bunch of color palettes that you can pick from, uh, but in this case, we want to create a new one that has the click color scheme. So we are going to click on edit palette and the palettes editor will appear. Uh, and if I go down here, I can open up a new palette and let's call this click. And I can double click to edit a new color that will go in the color palette. And for the first one, I will put in 159 for red, 161 for green, and 164 for blue. If I want to add another color to this click palette, I can click on add. I'll double click to edit. And once again, we want to start with a new custom color. Now I have a few more to do to round out this palette. So rather than show you each color that I'm putting in, uh, I'm just going to skip ahead until I have the palette completed and we can continue on with the native pixel perfect chart. And then from there, we have our palette complete. So I will move on to the series uh, set of properties. And at this point, I want to show in this particular visualization only the top N options. And at this stage, this is where I can limit uh, how many different values are shown in my resulting data set. So I'll click on enabled, which will open up the other fields for me. Uh, I will leave it on count, but if I wanted to do things like a threshold value or threshold percent to include in my visualization, I could set it up that way. I only want the top four to be shown, so I'll leave it at that. So the next thing is to move on to the data screen, and I want to be able to bind a data set to this particular visualization. So I will click on series binding, and there's a couple different things I need to set here. So for the argument properties, I want to be able to use the table that I brought in, the amount overdue by customer. Uh, that will be our argument properties, and we can leave that uh, at auto. And in fact, I want to make sure that I am using uh, this first piece here. And then for the value properties, for the value drop down here, I want to set it to be the value inside that particular table from ClickSense. Okay, and I can click on next. Now we will wind up leaving chart the same. There are a number of features in here in terms of layout, colors, background images, really just some formatting uh, properties to go along with the chart. We'll leave these as is. Diagram would be the same thing here. We're not going to make any adjustments to the margin of this chart. Uh, the panes are not supported for this type of visualization, nor are axes, but you can imagine if you have things that would have, you know, an axis, here would be a place where you could format things like uh, orientation, angle, font size, uh, and so on. We'll also leave series views the same, and we will go to point labels to make our next set of changes. So what we want to do is change to the font that we are using throughout the report. So let's make sure that we have that as Times New Roman. And for the font size, we are going to make this 18. Okay. We can also go to the Point Options tab over here on the right-hand side. And in the Pattern field, we can configure how we want these results displayed uh, in the donut chart. So I will paste in a pattern that has the name of the dimension of the field value in this case. And then we can also put in the value that we want here. And we will also go ahead and click next here to chart titles. And we want to give this a title. So we can click on add. And we'll call this amount overdue by customers. Uh, and we can click on next. All right, for the legend, we are not going to need a legend because we have the point labels showing the field names as well as the values associated with them. So let's just click off on visible and that will take care of our legend. Uh, and then finally, we can click on finish. And at this stage, let's run a preview to see how everything we have added looks. So we have our executive dashboard, our formulas that represent the date, 
uh, our revenue comparison as well as the target revenue increase. We have a nice donut chart here uh, along with a point labels that show us each of these values uh, for the particular expressions for the amount overdue by customer.